This little guy wreaked havoc on my layout. Let's talk about how that happened. So how you doing guys? Art from Arts Model Trains. So about, I guess, a year and a half ago, two years ago, uh, RBP did a video on his channel about how he was remodeling his layout, raising his upper sections of the layout uh, a safe distance so that he could run his scale Polar Express hobo car, among other things like auto racks and things like that on his layout that he didn't have uh, the ability to do. In fact, he talked about how he did special editing so that the hobo, he would stop the hobo car before it went underneath any of the overpasses in his layout. So at a, the, about a year ago, I decided to change out my upper loop. It was 027 uh, tube track, and I decided to put 042 Gargrave's track on it. So after watching RBP's video, I decided to be safe with my uh, elevated line and take the largest car I had, which is my uh, Atlas high cube box car, and raise this loop enough to clear that box car. Thought I was all set. Thought it was a great idea. Thinking ahead, being ahead, being proactive. Raised that line. I raised this line um, above that car, about a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch above that high cube box car. And that is a, it's a flat loop. There's no incline on here all the way around over the tunnel in the back there. And then the 2024 volume one catalog came out. And in, guys, in case you haven't seen it, please check out our three rails, four dads, YouTube podcast. It's myself, Ray's Trains, Datified, and Del Hudson. We go through the catalog. It's our first episode of a series. We're going to do one every month. We got another one coming up later this month. But in that catalog, as you guys know, the Legacy Scale Polar Express was coming out again. But I talked about in the video, this car was not actually in the catalog. So what I did was run out and pick one up quickly from Charles Rowe thinking that others would be looking for this car to complete their set. So I was ahead of the game. Came home, unboxed it, threw it on the track. It does run on the 048 track, by the way, even though it says it's uh, only for 054. And as I went around the backside, I realized it did not clear my elevated loop. And I had to now go back and redo the whole thing. So what I ended up having to do is buy more wood, paint it, cut it, and raise the elevated loop about another three quarters of an inch. That gives me about six inches from the top of the table to the bottom of the roadbed here, which is more than enough to clear the hobo under the loop and through the tunnel in the back. So let me get you guys off the stand, bring it in close, and I'll show you what I did. So I've got you guys just out front here where it's easy to see. Um, when I raised this originally, like I said, I used a high cube box car to measure it. So I have the post-war stands. And I just had one block of wood here. And that block of wood, I believe, is a uh, one inch by three inch or three and a half inch. And it was a long piece of wood. And I just you know, cut it, obviously, into equal sections to put under each, each of the legs. And then I had to go back and just buy another one that's three quarters of an inch tall. And same width and everything. And I just, once again, cut it into a bunch of sections. And you'll see here as we go around, I just put one wood glued it underneath each one of the legs. And then in the back with the tunnel, I ended up putting longer pieces of wood that you really can't see. I painted the front ones gray and the back ones black, so they all blend in. And that gives the whole upper loop, once again, same level, no incline or anything in it, but it just raised it up a little bit to allow for uh, our hobo car to pass under it. And as you can quickly see right here, he now easily clears and goes right underneath. And like I said, this car actually, I've been running it with my big boy, works on the uh, 048 track. Not saying it looks good, just saying it works for anybody who is interested. Thanks guys for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you again next time.